Welcome to Skillheader's Master Business Accounting Project. You can click the I button above or the link in the description for the complete playlist. I am logging on to the Business Accounting Project. This is our business startup form. In this third level of business management startup, we will try to complete the inventory in hand and existing customers and suppliers balances. This will complete the assets and liabilities part of the accounts, leading us to the other trial balance and current profit and loss statement. You know, we have completed the business management and chart of accounts related work to start the business. We will do this by copying the customer, supplier, and product forms and updating them accordingly. The store will also be created. Let's get started. Starting from the customer form, copy and rename it. Rename the title, delete the header section, and arrange the objects of the form. All forms should contain a text box for the total amount of balances. You can copy the same from the chart of accounts form. Change the control source to the customer's balance field. As you know, we copied the form so after adding the customers, the balance amount should be edited directly from the main form. New and edit customer forms will work as normal. It's time to integrate the form into the main business management startup forms tab and arrange it. Same as the customer's form, copy the supplier form, rename it, and arrange the form.
Let's add the supplier form as well. Move on to complete the inventory section now. Copy the product form, rename it, and arrange it. With the sale rate, we should have a field of purchase rate as well to get the opening stock amount in the inventory. Open the items table in the design view to add the purchase rate as well. Now add the purchase rate field to the form. Open the form's control source query to get the total amount of each item. Make sure that the default value to zero and add the default value to existing records. After ensuring, add the total amount field into the form. I am sure you can update all the sorting related codes associated with each column.
All the fields must be locked except the item quantity and price. It is better to differentiate the editable fields so select a light color. There should be an editable stock quantity also available. See the name of the field first. Very fine, it's time to integrate the inventory form with the main business startup tab. Add the text box related to the total amount. It is great work as all tabs are working. There should be a tab related to the store as well. Let's add a new tab and arrange it in order. You know, we have not created a store form before. Copy the products table and rename it for store.
change the form's control source properties to the store table. It's time to integrate it with the main form. A little arrangement is required here for the selected tab indication line. The finalized button should be moved now to the footer of the main form. Thanks for watching this mega innovative journey. Your likes and comments are very helpful for us and that is the only encouragement we need. There was very little coding in the last couple of videos so the next is the important one with lots of coding tricks. Stay tuned.